बसमीम् अल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर गोर एंड सेफ एंड साउंड एट होम स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्ट स्पीच एंड इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच नरेशन राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द रूल्स दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो वाइल चेंजिंग द डायरेक्ट स्पीच इन टू इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच आई हैव टोल्ड यू बिफोर दैट वी यूज कोटेशन मार्क्स इन अ डायरेक्ट स्पीच बिकॉज वी आर conveying the same message right same exact words spoken by someone right so we use quotation marks and in a direct speech in a indirect speech we use that instead of quotation marks for example i have given here example she says i eat an apple right so this is the direct speech these are the same words uttered by exact word uttered by this one girl right so we have used here quotation marks this is a direct speech right if we talk about the indirect speech so when we want to change this one sentence direct speech into indirect we will remove these commas right quotation marks this one comma and then we will write that here right after the reporting speech right i told you before the first one part of direct speech is called a reporting speech and the second one part is called a reported speech right so if we will remove the quotation marks then we will write here that instead of quotation marks after reporting speech right students all right you need to um, you need to understand that which things we have to change in the while while changing the direct speech into indirect speech so first one is change the pronouns i told you before about the first person second person and third person pronouns so you have to change those pronouns while changing the direct into indirect speech second thing is change in the verbs right and third one change the change the time and place expression so i will be telling you thoroughly in the next slides the first one part that we the first one rule that you have to follow is changes in person of pronouns right so the first person pronouns in reported speech are always changed according to the subject of reporting speech right so the first person pronoun in reported speech ab reported speech mein aapka jo first person pronoun hoga i told you before about first person pronoun it will be changed according to the subject of reporting speech right students for example he told her i want to meet father now first person here is it right so you will change this one according to the subject of reporting speech he told her that he wanted to meet father all right next one is second person pronouns in reported speech are always changed according to the object of the reporting speech now if there will be second person pronoun in the reported speech you have to change that according to the object of reporting speech right students so there is a subject verb and object in it so you will change the second person pronoun present in the reported speech according to the object of reporting speech right so i told him you are a stupid right so this can be written in a uh, indirect speech like this i told him that he now this one right we we have changed this one into this one right so i told him that he was a stupid right third person pronoun in reported speech are not changed so if there will be third person pronoun in a reported speech you will not change it right while changing the direct into indirect speech for example him is written here right she says i slap him right so him is a third person pronoun it will never be changed right she says that she now this one is the first one right we can change this one according to the subject of reporting speech but we will never change this one third person pronoun she says that she slapped him right students all right changes in the verbs if the reporting speech is in present tense or future tense then no change is required to to be made in the verb of reported speech अगर हमारा रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच प्रेजेंट टेंस में होगी या फिर फ्यूचर टेंस में होगी तो आपने क्या करना है आपने 
रिपोर्टेड स्पीच के वर्ब को पास्ट में चेंज नहीं करना राइट right? वो एज इट इज रहेगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही सेज नाउ सेज इज शोइंग दैट दिस इज द प्रेजेंट टेंस राइट सो यू यू विल नॉट चेंज द वर्ब ऑफ रिपोर्टेड स्पीच बिकॉज दिस वन द वर्ब ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच इज इन द प्रेजेंट टेंस सो इफ इट विल बी इन प्रेजेंट और फ्यूचर टेंस यू विल नॉट चेंज द वर्ब ऑफ रिपोर्टेड स्पीच राइट इट विल रिमेन द सेम ही सेज आई एम इल नाउ ही सेज दैट ही इज इल नाउ सेम इज द वर्ब हेयर प्रेजेंट टेंस राइट सेकेंड वन एग्जाम्पल इज शी सेज शी सेंग अ सॉन्ग नाउ सेज इज टेलिंग दैट इट्स अ प्रेजेंट टेंस यू विल नॉट चेंज द वर्ब ऑफ रिपोर्टेड स्पीच राइट शी सेज दैट she sang a song the third one example is here for you you say i shall visit london right so you say say is telling it's a present tense you will not again change the this one verb of reported speech right it will remain the same you say that you will visit london right students all right if the reporting verb is in the past i told you before if this one reporting verb will be in present tense or future tense you will not change this one pa into past right you will not change the verb of reported speech but if the reporting verb is in past tense then reported verbs will be changed as per the following criterion now you will look at you will look at this one right you have to check it then you will change this one right so if it will be in past the verb of reporting speech will be in past you have to change these sentences phir aapne reported speech ke verb ko change karna hoga uske tense ko change karna hoga right and you have to follow these rules right the present tense the present indefinite tense is changed into past indefinite tense so this verb if it will be in the past you will change this one tense but if this one tense will be in present indefinite right you have to change that into past indefinite tense for example they say they said they take exercise every day so take exercise is telling you this it's a present indefinite tense you have to change this one present indefinite into past indefinite they said that they took exercise every day right next one is present continuous is changed into past continuous so when it will be the the verb of reported speech is showing that it's a present continuous you will change this one present continuous into past continuous tense right they said they are taking exercise every day this is the present continuous right you have to change this one into past continuous tense they said that they were taking exercise every day right students second uh, third one is present perfect is changed into past perfect tense now if it will be the the verb of reported speech is telling you that it's a present perfect tense you will change into past perfect tense right they said they have taken exercise so this one have will be changed into had we will make it a past right past perfect tense they said that they had taken exercise next one is present perfect continuous tense is changed into past perfect continuous tense now if there will be a present perfect continuous tense in the reported speech you have to change that into past perfect continuous tense right aap usko past perfect continuous mein change karenge for example they said they have been taking exercise since morning so this is the present perfect continuous tense you have to change this one into past perfect continuous tense like this they said that they had been taking exercise since morning right next one is past indefinite is changed into past perfect tense if there will be past indefinite tense right so you will change that into past perfect tense for example they said they took exercise right you will change this one took past indefinite tense into past perfect tense they said that 
they had taken exercise next one is past continuous tense is changed into past perfect continuous tense if there will be a past continuous tense in reported speech right you will change that into past perfect continuous tense for example they said they were taking exercise this is the past continuous tense right you will change this one into past perfect continuous tense for example they said that they had been taking exercise right students so you have to change the tenses accordingly according to these rules right no changes are required to be made into past perfect and past perfect continuous tense if there will be a past perfect or past perfect continuous it will not be changed students you will not change it aap usko change nahi karenge right it will remain the same they said they had taken exercise this is the past perfect tense you cannot change it right it will remain the same they said that they had taken exercise you will just look at the pronouns and you will not change this one tense right if it will be past perfect or past perfect continuous tense right all right in future tense while no changes are made except shall and will are changed into word right can into could and may into might so if the reported speech is telling you that it's a future tense you will just change these verbs right aap inko change karenge shall will be changed into should will will be changed into would can into could may into might right for example they said they will take exercise so you will change in in a direct speech like this they said that they would take exercise right students all right students there are few words you have to change you have to keep in mind that you have to change these words while changing the direct speech into indirect speech for example this will be changed into that if it will be in the sentence right direct speech you have to change these words into into these one right this will be changed into that these into those here into there now then sir and madam if you will use uh, these type of words you will change into respectfully right today into that day yesterday into the previous day tomorrow into next day tonight into that night right good morning good evening and good day will be changed into greeted right so these words you have to keep in mind that these words will be changed according to the rules right so i hope that students all of the points are cleared you have to write these one sentences right in these sentences there are the words which i have discussed before that how can we change those words so you will practice it right you have to write one time on your neat notebook or sheets right and practice two times these sentences on your rough notebook right students thank you very much